Hello, and welcome to part two of your introduction to One CRM. In this presentation, you will learn more about modules, accounts, and the One CRM system layout. To begin, let's click on Accounts, the most important module within One CRM, and see what it's like to use the module. When you first click on any module, you enter the List View. All the List View screens in the system have the same general form of organization. A set of layout tabs and filters at the top, a list of items in the middle with selection buttons to their left and navigation buttons to the top right, plus a mass update panel at the bottom. First, let's look at the layout tabs and how they work. Every module's list view has a few standard tabs at the top, browse all, quick filter, reports, and the add layout tab here with the large plus sign on it. In addition to the usual standard tabs, the account module has two extra tabs, customers and suppliers. The browse all tab is used to see the default column layout of the accounts list view and to show the full set of accounts within that layout. Underneath the layout tabs, you see a few of the most commonly used filters, the universal text search filter, a filter for the owner of accounts, a filter for accounts with non-zero outstanding balances. Here you see an example of filtering for only those accounts with an outstanding balance. And here you see an example of filtering by the universal text search box. It looks for the text you enter at any position in any of the pre-designated search fields in this module. The Quick Filter tab also shows you the default column layout for the Accounts module, but offers the ability to filter on just about any field in the module at the cost of much more space on the screen. The Customers and Suppliers tabs again show the default column layout for the Accounts module, but have predefined filters for each account type, either for customers or for suppliers. Notice the number of accounts in each view and you can see that the Browse All layout shows all the accounts, whereas Customers and Suppliers show subsets which add up to the total. The Reports tab in each module's list view shows all the current reports based on this module and allows you to create new reports based on this module. You can run reports as well and then create PDFs from those reports if you like. The Add Layout tab shown as the large plus sign, allows you to create your own user-defined layout tabs. You can enter a name and description for the layout, choose what columns of data you want to see in the list view, edit the column titles, and adjust the column widths. You can also define filters for the layout. In this example, we add a filter non-zero bounds only, so that only customers that owe us money will show on the list view. We'll sort it to show the largest receivables at the top of the list. After we have defined all the information for our new layout, we can save it and we can see a new AR list tab has been added to help us collect our receivables. Now let's check out the main body of the list view with its line items, select boxes, and navigation controls. For a start, you may notice that each item in the list view can have more than one line of information displayed for it. Several of the fields on each line are linked to more detailed information about that specific field. To the left of each item in the list view is a selection box. These boxes may be set individually or they may be set by this control at the top left of the list view to include all the items on a page or in the entire module. Once you've selected some items, you can use this button here to perform an action on the selected items. You can export a CSV file containing the data from these items, delete these items, or prepare a PDF from these items. Also, to the left of each list item is an info icon. Just hover on the icon to see a pop-up with more information about that item without having to click through to the detail view. And notice this gold star that indicates a favorite item. A filter at the top allows you to focus on just your favorites. To the right of each item will be shown links to their social network accounts. These let you quickly do some research on your clients. At the top right of the list is a set of navigation controls. Here you can go to the next or previous page of the list or the first or last page of the list. As well, you can click here 
and temporarily change the default page length and choose to start the list from a specified record. Finally, let's examine the Mass Update panel below the main body of the list view. Like the actions up here, Mass Update works on the currently selected items in the list. Once you've selected some items, either individually or by the page full, or however, you can scroll down to the Mass Update panel below the list and update one or more values for all the selected records. As well, you can change the team assignments of the selected records using this control, which is always the last field in the Mass Update panel. Next, let's look at the detail views of specific items in the list view. You do that by just clicking on the name of the item. The system will then take you to the detail view for that item. Some of the most important things to notice on the detail view are the edit button which takes you to the edit view where you can edit the item, the print button which generates a PDF of the current detail view or an account statement, the setting icon which lets you edit the layout of the detail view. You can add new fields and remove, rename, or rearrange existing fields, the social network icons which lead to the relevant pages for this account. Also notice the micro icons on many of the fields which help identify the type of lead, be it a phone number, website address, or email address. Lastly, notice the subpanels on each detail view containing items of information that are related to the account which is the focus of this detail view. See how each subpanel can be collapsed. And also notice the icon used to zoom into a subpanel as a full screen allowing you to page forward and backward through the related items. If you are an admin, you can also edit the columns shown in the subpanel using this icon. When we edit an item from its detail view, notice again the emphasis on field micro icons to clarify field types and some of the useful field input techniques that make it easier to select data fields for each field. Now that you've learned a bit about the OneSerum system, if you have your own username and password, now is a good time to log in and explore. To get the most out of your OneSerum system, we encourage you to watch more videos, get your own copy of the user guide, and contact us with any questions you may have. Thanks very much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the system.